I think we can do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Piece of cake. We oh, got yeah. we got this. No problem. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> Adventure riders benefit from being prepared because you just never know what's going to happen. And I carry a winch, and so do all of my instructors. The best way to show you how this works is take you on a ride. This whole mountain is made of clay. Traction is almost non-existent. All right, so pull that forward. This first hill isn't so challenging that we need to pull out the winch. I've got Paul and Cameron hooked up to the bike. We've got straps attached very low down to the crash bars, and they're long enough that they can get to both sides of the trail where they can get some good traction and use their body weight to lean forward to get that bike pulled. I'm using the motor on the motorcycle and the clutch to try to power up as best I can. To make sure that Paul and Cameron aren't wearing out, we're using our body weight to help pull that bike up. All they have to do is lean forward to help give the bike just enough pull so that we can power it up. Make sure you don't wrap the straps around your hand. Hold them open. That way if the bike slips or falls, you can let go of the straps and not get pulled down with the bike. Now it's time to pull out the winch. We've got another hill here. We're not even going to give a shot at riding it. It's way too slick. It's way too steep. So we're just going to go ahead and winch it. So what we're doing is trying to get enough line to get all the way up over the hill. We're using a couple of trees at the top to straighten out our pull. We need the spool to run out as far as possible so you get the maximum leverage. So right. what were you thinking of doing up here? Well, we can either use the rope or the auxiliary line, tie off to the tree on the right as an anchor, and then run it back to that farther tree up so that would give us a straight line back to the bike and then the line that we have in the winch should be enough to get us to the top of the hill without having to wind any extra onto the and spool. that way we're using up the extra length of that spare line yep so this is a free hanging winch that means that you have to clip to these two mount points here and this now free hangs out in front of the motorcycle so i'm going to introduce you to the kit that we're going to be using to get this bike up the hill first and foremost is the Warren XT17 winch, 1,700 pounds of pull. It uses a synthetic line so we don't have to tie anything to the line when we're pulling it up. Traditional winches use cable and they store a lot of energy and when they break, bad things happen. The XT17 uses synthetic rope. Synthetic rope is significantly lighter. This whole thing is only eight and a half pounds. It's stronger than cable and it's not necessary to put a weight on your rope when you hook it up to the anchor. If this does break, it just drops to the ground. This is the power cord. This allows us to have control of the winch and to power it. The winch comes with one of these tie straps and this runs around and connects on both sides of the winch. We have two of them. This allows us to get more distance out in front of the bike so it doesn't bind up on the front wheel when we make our pull. I'm carrying two of the Prusiks. These are just two cords that we hook to the bike so we can put the 
winch and attach the winch to the crash bars. We need to attach the winch as low on the bike as we can. If we attach too high, it just pulls the front down into it, compresses the bike into it. Do not connect it to the fork legs, the handlebars, or the triple tree. Also, make sure that when those straps have tension, they're not pinching brake lines, hydraulic lines, wiring, or anything else that can get damaged if it gets pinched. We've got a flat strap. This is our anchor point. We wrap this around a tree. I have two other things I've thrown into this to give us a hand. One is just a tie down or a soft tie. This actually lets us hook it to the bike so if somebody's helping pull the bike up, it gives them a handle. And then also, I always carry a toe strap with me. The benefit here is it's much longer. So from a safety standpoint, somebody helping pull the bike can be much farther away. So if it slips or falls, nobody's gonna get hurt. The tree that's lining up with the bike right now is too close if we use our extended line and come down to the bike. So Paul's gonna use this tree over here, run it through a pulley, and then back down towards the bike. This makes the line just long enough so we get the bike up and over the crest and we're on top of the hill when we finally reel everything in. So we've got our initial anchor point hooked up. And what I'm trying to do now is get this one up as high as I can on the tree so that we have a direct line, a more direct line going down towards the bike. And then I've got a pulley on the rope here and I just wanna make sure that it's not twisted and then we got a direct line and then this will run straight back down to the bike. Okay, so we've shortened up to use just the one strap because we've got to have enough length that when we get over the crest of this thing that we can winch the bike all the way up and not get stuck halfway. So the control for this winch is mounted up on the handlebar. So I have both control to reel it in, but also to let it out under power. So we can run the winch with the bike powered off, but because it's a heavy pull, it's gonna draw a lot more power off the battery. So we're gonna fire the bike up and let it idle because the control's here and there's no traction. There's no reason to try to power with it. We're just gonna let the winch do all the work. All right, gentlemen, here goes. So what I'm doing now is trying to make sure that the winch rope is winding evenly across there. If it winds in one spot, it'll bind up in there and we won't be able to get all of it reeled back in. So if I can move the winch back and forth and make sure that it winds evenly, we'll get a better pull. We have to reposition. We gotta come around the other side, I can't. Oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. This hill is way too slick to stand on. So I'm letting the bike and the winch do all the work. So my whole job is just to hold the bike upright and push the button on the controller. Come on baby, go baby, go baby, go. Here it goes. Now that the bike is over the crest, I squeeze the front brake and back the winch out to pull tension out of the line. It doesn't take long to break it all down, pack it up, and we're ready for the next adventure. <laughs>